everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I decided to take on a very, very, very hard challenge. And that is a one week detox from social media. So what that means is that I'm going to be deleting all social media for a week. But I'm making an exception for YouTube and streaming platforms. I don't know if that is canceling out on everything, but... I just meant like the social media that connects me to other people. TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. I decided that I needed a break from that. I noticed how addicted I've gotten to my phone. The thing that made me notice that it's gotten out of control is one, one morning I was brushing my teeth and I have an electric toothbrush. Oh, it has a timer on it. It has two minutes. Like it, it'll tell you when it'll just stop. It'll stop when the two minutes is up. I had my phone charging in the living room. <sighs> I was in the restroom, started brushing my teeth. I couldn't go those two minutes without my phone. I had to go sit on my couch and brush my teeth just so I could scroll on my phone. I thought that was ridiculous. After that, I was kind of like, I need, I need something that's gonna help me not be so attached to my phone. I'm up late at night, even when I'm not at home or when I'm out with my friends or at school, I'm constantly on my phone. It's gotten to the point where it's impacting my relationships and daily life. So, for the next week, I'm going to be deleting all my social media apps and I'm going to document my journey. Hey guys, it is Sunday, April 7th. It is officially time to delete all my social media. So I'm going to screen record and I'm going to delete them all. I also have to delete them off my iPad, so God bless, for real. Here we go. So first is Instagram. Oof, okay, okay. And then we have Snapchat. And then we have Instagram. Uh, oh, we have Facebook. I'm gonna keep Messenger though because that's the only way my mom, that's the only way my mom texts me and sometimes my dad. I don't think I have any other social medias. I have nothing else. But now let's switch on to my iPad. Oh, I have my iPad right here. So first we're gonna delete Instagram, then TikTok, then Facebook. Those are all the social medias I have on my on my uh, iPad just because I don't like go on social media on my iPad just because like I don't know it's just better on my phone I guess there we have it we deleted social media I'm gonna take you a little bit on my date today it is actually 5.04 started filming this at like directly at 5 whenever this challenge ends it'll be Sunday next Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. I'm in my first encounter I'm waiting for my girlfriend to pick me up and I don't know what the hell to do I mean, I guess I could watch YouTube, but I just found myself going on my phone trying to go on social media to scroll, and there's none. Guys, we're leaving for our date. My girlfriend's, <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's driving. Babe, how do you, what do you think about me deleting all my social media for I you? am as happy as can be, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> we're on our way to Cheddar's right now. Alright guys, we're here at Cheddar's. My beautiful girlfriend is right here. It looks super dark. Yeah. Hey guys, what do you think the bill is going to come out to be? I think $54.39 on the dot. Alright. No I, tip. No, no tip yet. No like tip not, included. Yeah, no tip included. And then I think $56.27 on the dot. That's my guess. We'll show you at the, <laughs> end, at the end of our meal how much it does cost. Hey guys, I have my food, chicken alfredo. And we have Carol here with honey hot. Fries and strips and a salad. <laughs> Alright, guys, we got our dessert. <laughs> Looks good, right, babe? Yes. Perfect. Alright, guys, we're gonna see how much the bill came the out. The big to. reveal. Remember, we yours was 54, mine was 56. Click it, babe. One, go. Oh. <laughs> we already got dessert, girl. What? 43. <laughs> Damn. 67. Wasn't that mine? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> but we both were so far off. But you were closer, so yeah. that means you get to pay. Just kidding, she was gonna pay no, no matter what. <laughs> Where do I put it? Put that bill in, girl. I called the server. Stop, bye. <laughs> we're going home. Okay, guys, we're heading home now. <laughs> you give the food. I give it a good... Like a 8.6. Okay, okay. You? I give it like a cool little. I give it like an eight point six also. Really? My pasta was. You're really just copying me. My pasta was really good with the I broccoli. Think it was, it really was so good. Yeah. I finished it all actually. Zone. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. It's day two 
of not having social media for a week. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of how day two is going. This morning, I worked on a lot of schoolwork. I realized that whenever I do have the feeling of getting bored, I tell myself to do my schoolwork, so I'll go and do it. And normally, if I had social media, I would have gotten on social media and wasted my time there instead of doing schoolwork. It's going well. I'm not struggling that much. I thought I was gonna be struggling way more. I thought I would be way more bored. As for a random activity, I already got bored, so I'm going to be making stuff out of clay with my niece. Hey, baby! No, 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 baby. <laughs> of this little girl <laughs> show him show him mama wow all right say bye bye bye, bye, bye. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm having such a bad day today guys <sighs> guys it's day four of no social media i have been really sick since monday and it's just been getting worse so i haven't been to school or anything also i don't know if this is an allergic reaction or what but i woke up with it and it itches and it's irritated so please excuse that this is my update on how i've been feeling or what's been going on without having social media i didn't film i don't remember which days i didn't film but i've been really sick so i haven't picked up the camera and I also haven't done anything so normally I spend countless hours on TikTok or social media and I see other people and I see what they have and I instantly want it I want to do what they're doing I want to have the same interest as them and that would make me feel very indecisive with what I want to do with myself or my life recently without social media I've realized that it's helped a lot to clear my mind and set me straight in what I really want to do. I've been actually interested in my own interests, things that genuinely interest me. That was something that I've really enjoyed from this experience. This is something that I've gained and I'll definitely keep with me for the future. I also recently bought a PC. I'll pop it up on the screen. The video of the unboxing may or may not be out before or after this video. I'm not sure which I'm going to upload first. I'm going to try to get this video out first, but be on watch for an unboxing of my new PC. I am so, so excited. Um, I'm gonna start streaming. I wanted to get more into it and I really, really enjoy video games. Uh, I've been playing since I was little and that's something that I've kept with me. That's like a hobby that I've constantly been interested in. I'm so, so excited. I think this journey has been super beneficial for me and my mental health and everything. It's making me clear of who I want to be and what I want to do. I've been keeping myself pretty busy. I've been sick though, so I also haven't been wanting to do anything. So I feel like this challenge got me on the wrong week, but I definitely do see the benefits of doing this challenge. And I think that everyone out there should at least try this for a week, even if it's not for a YouTube video, even if it's just for your own sake. Yes, I've had moments in the middle of the night where I'm bored or I've had moments where YouTube gets boring, but I've definitely, I'm definitely getting better at keeping myself company and keeping myself not bored. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this topic, so comment down below what you guys think and if you're considering taking a break from social media. I honestly highly recommend giving it a try. Let me know what you guys think, any thoughts on this, and what you think it could also be beneficial for. So that is my check-in for day four. This experience, I give it a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy it. So far we're barely halfway through the challenge, not even. Yeah, we're like halfway through the challenge, so... I'm looking forward to what other things I learn and what other things inspire me. Hello guys, I'm here with my girlfriend right now. We just got Whataburger. Uh, we're about to eat and watch Pretty Little Liars. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, look who came to visit. Hi YouTube. Video. Look Video. who came to visit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful performance by my girlfriend, Leona Martinez. We're gonna make a song. This is what we're doing the past. Uh, this is what we're doing the past time because I have no social media. <laughs> Ready? Ow! <laughs> that hurt. Are you? No! Coming? 
like this like first the top one then the bottom so you go yeah like that good job I yeah. <laughs> all right so what's going on guys the challenge is complete quick interruption guys first of all i just want to say i'm so sorry for my rash it came back i don't know what's going on with me guys also i'm so 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 close to 500 subscribers so if you guys could do me a favor and just subscribe please i'm begging you I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But yeah, if you guys could actually help me out, I'm so close. So just like go down there, just click it a little bit, please. <laughs> please. Um, but yeah, I'm so close. So help me reach my goal, guys. Thank you. I didn't film the last two days of the challenge just because Saturday I went to go visit my grandma in the hospital. So unfortunately, she's in the hospital right now. It's been very hard for me. But um, and then Sunday I cleaned the whole house because uh, I live with my grandma too. So it ha it was a really horrible last two days it definitely was not hard to keep off social media and on sunday i ended up getting social media around 8 p.m and not like 5 p.m i wasn't really i didn't feel like in a need or a rush to get social media back but i did i got social media back a sunday it is not thursday i've seen a little bit of change i haven't been on it as much as i used to be on it i know that you know one week difference isn't really gonna like change anything and if you i feel like if you're really serious about this if you really want to lower your time on social media you should definitely do it for at least like a month so you could actually get into the habit of doing it but for me it was just a fun little experiment to do i definitely do see a lot of changes i i feel like now that i'm back on social media it's not as interesting as i used to think it was like i definitely get bored of it easier and I don't just spend all my time riding on it now. So no, I also knew going into this challenge that most likely once I get social media back, I'll still be on it a lot. But I definitely stopped posting as much and I stopped oversharing, which was another good thing that I wanted to stop. This challenge basically is complete. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my experience, like I've said. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you are thinking of doing this for your own beneficial reasons not just for a little experiment or a youtube video i do recommend doing it for at least a month because it's definitely easier to fall back into a habit that you've been doing if you only stop it for a week thank you guys for watching that's gonna be for this video i hope you guys enjoyed so much leave a comment down below on your opinions on everything about this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys